Hello, we're going to go ahead and we're going to talk a little bit about the relationship between the toxicity values such as LD50s and the hazard classification for acute toxicity. So let's look at the example of this uh, substance that we just added to the mixture, 1,5-difluoro-2,4-dinitrobenzene. You'll notice under the GHS classification column, we have to be determined entered. This means that we have not determined the classification. If it was no, then we would have determined it as not classified, and yes, it would have been classified. So we need to go ahead and classify this. We'll go ahead and we'll click on the S button for substance, and then we'll click on the list SDS components. We'll double click on the chemical. And let's first click into the health tab so here we see DOT 6.1 poisonous material and we see fire code um, highly toxic. If we click on the toxicity tab there is actually no data here. So we'll go ahead and we'll do a web search and let's click on ToxNet. And this will actually open up the National Library of Medicine's ToxNet website. And we'll go ahead and go into the record and we'll copy, control C, the CAS number, and we'll paste it here. And let's do a search. And so we have a search here and we'll actually open up the ChemID Plus record. And you'll notice here we see the word toxicity. This gives us an indication we have toxicity data here. And we have a toxicity table. And so here we will notice that we do have a RAT LD50 oral of 50 milligrams per kilogram. So we'll go back into the record under the toxicity plus acute LD50 oral rat 50 milligrams per kilogram. Save. And you'll notice that we have also skin, but it's quite high. Well, it's a thousand milligrams per kilogram for guinea pig, and there is no inhalation. So we'll go ahead and we'll enter the guinea pig 1,000 milligrams per kilogram. We can actually click on the row, press the D for duplicate, and it's also LD50, change oral to skin, species to guinea pig, and then 1,000 milligrams per kilogram. Press the save. So what does all this mean? Well, a website, the Regulation Appendix A, Health Hazard Criteria, and we see A.1 um, is acute toxicity, and we have an acute toxicity table. And actually at the bottom of the table, you'll notice that the preferred species are a rat, for oral in inhalation and a rat or rabbit for the acute dermal. So we did in fact have an oral LD50 for a rat of 50 milligrams per kilogram. That would place it at an acute oral category 2. And then for dermal, you might remember that we had 2,000 milligrams per kilogram and it was not the preferred species of rat or rabbit, but it was a guinea pig. So again, just to confirm, so here's our table, and we'll go ahead and we will assign the GHS hazard classification in this table. So we'll go ahead and we'll select GHS classification, acute toxic, uh, acute toxicity, oral category two, GHS classification, acute toxicity, dermal, category 4. 
press save, press done, press done again. Now we are back in the SDS record and let's double click on the row and refresh and notice that to be determined just turned into yes and if we scroll over notice that under the hazard classification that it's now assigned at acute toxic oral category 2 acute toxicity dermal category 4 